Hi guys, it's Stacey here from Tycoon Factory and I wanted to make a very short video talking about YouTube ads and how you can utilize them to get more views on your videos very, very cheaply. So basically, when you decide to promote your video on YouTube, quite often you'll come to your creator studio and when you click this drop down menu here, you will see an option called promote. And this is not what I want you to do guys, because when you use this promote option, it gives you very limited advertise a sentence so for example it will only let you promote your video to very broad categories so very broad interest categories rather than being able to uh, promote videos based on what people are searching for or that kind of thing so basically what you need to do is to actually open up your video in another page as I have done here so what you're going to do is come down to here and copy this link here and this would be the same link as you would find in your browser bar up here. So for example, if I actually go to this video, you can see this takes me straight to my video. So basically, what we're gonna do is you need a Google AdWords account and I will put the link in the YouTube description. But if I come over to my campaign manager in Google AdWords, what you can see is if you click plus campaign and come down here to video, it's going to allow you to create a campaign based around your YouTube video, but it gives you way more settings than if you were trying to promote it directly from the YouTube platform. So if I just give that a second to load up. So I'm just going to basically take you through some of these settings. Now this is a basic video, I'm not going to go through everything in depth, this is just to get you away and get you started with a simple campaign. So the first thing you want to do is call your campaign something that you're going to remember. As you come down you see you've got options here and we're just going to click standard because we are using these ads to drive views, awareness and conversions so we can just do that. And you can also load sentence from a previous video campaign, but if this is your first, you're not going to have that option available to you. As we scroll down, you can see you've got video ad formats here. So in stream or video discovery ads, if we scroll over the little question mark there, it tells us that they run before, after or during YouTube videos or on YouTube partner sites. Um, so that's the first kind of ad. The other kind of ad you can choose is bumper ads, which is six second video ads. And these are the ads that play at the beginning or during videos on YouTube. However, they must be less than six seconds long because the user can't skip this kind of ad. Whereas with the in-stream ones, they can skip it after so many seconds. So as we come down, the next section is bidden. So basically, this is asking you to specify a budget and you can choose either daily or campaign total. If you choose daily, your ad will run continuously until you manually stop it. If you choose campaign total, then if you set your budget at, say, £15, the campaign will stop delivering as soon as it reaches that amount. So you would just literally select which one suits you and put that in there. So the other option, if you are going to choose a daily budget, is you can come down here and select an end date. So you can select a start and end date if you're running promotions around a certain launch or anything like that. Um, but you can choose an end date. So if you do select the daily budget, you can set it to end on a certain date without having to manually log back in and turn it off. As we come down, you've got another option here for delivery method and you can just leave this as is. So I just tend to leave mine as standard. So this is delivering the ads evenly over time. However, if you choose to, you can do it accelerated and show ads as quickly as possible. The benefit of this second option is that the more views you get on your YouTube video in the first kind of 24 hours and the more comments and things that that generates and more engagement, the higher your video will rank in the YouTube search algorithms because it's almost telling YouTube that it is relevant to the people you're showing it to, they are liking it and so there's more chance that they will boost that in the search engine rankings for future. So you can use this feature if you wish. So then you've got your ad networks, and this is basically where you want your ad to be shown. So the first thing you've got is YouTube search, YouTube videos, and then video partners on the display network. So YouTube search is basically when you type something into the YouTube search bar, and it will bring up relevant videos. So you can use that, and that's probably the best option because it almost looks as if it's organic to the end user. So it doesn't look as if it's a paid ad. It almost looks organic. You've then got YouTube videos. So this is when your ad shows at the beginning of other people's videos and in the middle of other people's videos. And that's fine as well because quite often people, if they're interested in that topic, will click on your video 
and go through and watch it in its entirety. You've then got video partners on the display network. Now I like to untick this because I don't find that it works very well for me. I find it more expensive than YouTube and I just don't feel like I get the same results from it. But what this is, if you do want to kind of play around with it and test it, is a network of other websites app developers, things like that, who allow video ads on their platform. So it could be a website that allows video ads and YouTube will put your video ad there. It could be at the beginning of an app, a startup on an app, there's a video ad and it could go there. Now, like I say, I tend to leave this off, but you can choose to leave that on if you wish. You've then got options to target based on location. So you've got some kind of generic ones in here. Yeah? So you've got all countries and territories, United States and Canada, just United States, or you can select let me choose. So you can click there and enter your location, whether that be United Kingdom or anywhere else. Languages is automatically set as English if you're in an English speaking country, so you can just leave that as is. You've then got the option to choose some devices. So if I open this up, you can choose whether or not you want to change your sentence based on mobile and tablet. So basically you can allow a little bit extra budget for mobiles or tablets than you would for computer if you wish. So you can select increase or decrease. I tend not to use this but a lot of traffic now comes from mobile and tablets. So you could decrease your budget here by 10% and increase these by 5% each and it would still cost you the same amount. So that might be something that you want to play around with as well. As we scroll down, we've got ad scheduling and you can literally create a custom schedule to display your ads at certain times. So for example, if you know that your audience is based in the United Kingdom and that the times that they're most likely to be kind of looking for your kind of content is between 5 p.m. when they finish work and 9 p.m. when they kind of winding down for the night, then you can create a custom schedule to for your then you can create a custom schedule for your ad just to show at those times. You've then got ad delivery. So you can set limits on the amount of time a user sees or views your ad. Now again, I tend to leave these blank, but you can tick this and put it to one per day or per week or per month for this campaign. You know, you can play around with this. Um, it is really just a safeguard because that you don't want your ad showing time and time again to the same person. So it basically tracks that and allows you to um, control that a little bit more. So if we come down and click save and continue, it's now going to ask us to start and work on the ad group. So again, you can name the ad group. So what you can do is you can have multiple ad groups under the same campaign, but I'm just going to show you how to do one um, for simplicity. So basically what it's doing is asking us for the link to the YouTube video. So you can literally just paste the link that we copied earlier into there and it's going to load and find our video. So it's now asking us what kind of ad we want and we've got the option of in-stream ad, video discovery ad and bumper six seconds video ad. Now because this video is longer than six seconds, the bumper video is not available to us because a bumper video is less than six seconds long and the person is not allowed to skip it. With the in-stream ad or the video discovery ad, they are. And the difference between these two ads is that the video discovery ad is literally that. It's about getting your video discovered on YouTube. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to drive people to watch your video. So if you're giving your marketing message in the video and then you've got links underneath the video, great. If you however want to drive them to a website, then you can use an in-stream ad which will give you the option to add a URL as well. So I'm going to quickly go through the options on both of these. So let's start with the video discovery ad since I'm already on here. So first of all, you pick your thumbnail, which is basically an image that's being taken from the YouTube video and you can select any one of them. And then you're going to put in a headline, description and description too. So this video is about the IML harmonic scanner. So I could put in here, um, having trouble with your scanner. Now I know that this is going to relate to the people that I'm trying to show it to because I'm going to select keywords that are based around the content. So you can really make this speak to the people that you are trying to show it to, make it relatable, um, have it either call them out on something or an address an issue. So having trouble with your scanner, watch this video to find out how you can get it right 80% of the time. And as you can see, it gives you a little 
preview of what your ad's going to look like just up here. As we scroll down, it then gives you a landing page. So basically, if somebody was to click on your video, it will either take you to the channel page or the videos watch page. Now, what I do is I like to put links in my YouTube description. So I always select the videos watch page rather than the channel page. Because to me, if I'm promoting something, it's more worthwhile having them go there than go to my channel. And you can then name your video ad if you want to. You've then got a maximum cost per view and so this is how much you're willing to pay per view and as you can see the typical for this kind of video would be seven pence to 35 pence so i can pick something in between that now the more you're willing to bid the more views you're going to get but it's obviously going to cost you more you then come down here and you've got the option to encrypt you then come down here and you've got the option to adjust your bid for popular videos. So basically for the channels that have a lot of followers and are kind of the best love channels on YouTube, you can say, right, so for me to be shown on those channels, I would be willing to up my budget by 20% per view. So you can actually use that. You then come down here to target and, and this is the bit that's really powerful because you don't have this option on YouTube if you try and do this from the YouTube channel so first of all you've got your demographics so if you click edit the first thing you've got is gender so if you know what kind of people generally follow you you can select that you've got age so if you're targeting a certain age group or for example if you were targeting biz op you might go for kind of between 25 and 54 you've then got parental status are they a parent are they not a parent and then you've got household income so you can choose the percentage of household income as well then as we scroll down you can see under interest it's got any interest now we want to edit this and you can sit and choose some of these if you like because these are the interests that you would be able to choose from if you did it direct on YouTube so you can choose some of these if you like but what I like to do is pretty much just leave that blank and then use the advanced options to narrow the target and so you can actually select this option here and narrow your targeting by keywords placements remarketing and topics so if I select keywords from here so I can start and type some keywords that the people who are interested in this video may type so if you just give me a second I'm just going to do that Okay, so I'm obviously not going to add loads because this is just a demonstration, but you put a few of your keywords in here and then what you can do is put find related keywords and it will bring up a list of keywords that are related to what you've just typed. So as you can see, there's quite a lot and some of them aren't relevant. If we go down the bottom, it's talking about sewing patterns and things like that and that's because I haven't put many keywords in here. But if I add those top keywords first and then I can add some of these, so harmonic patterns, forex, indicator harmonic pattern and then from there we can just click done now you want to try and get more keywords in there you know I like to have quite a large group of keywords I'm just rushing through this so I can demonstrate it to you in a, a decent space of time um, but you can then click save ad group what will happen then is the campaign will now go under review so it will be enabled it will be reviewed and will go live as soon as that is in fact approved so i hope that's been helpful guys any questions please do ask and i will see you in another video